Boogie drop that beat. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Talking Out Loud with Miss Talking of Everything I say is my own opinion, alleged, and strictly entertainment purposes. Remember, I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe, comment on the video, let me know what you think. Now, do y'all think that um, Chris' daughter, Lexi, is telling the truth? Do y'all think that Chris was a punk-ass parent and he just neglected his daughter? Um, what she say, she didn't... Um, she didn't really get around him until she was 28. Do y'all believe that? Or do y'all believe that Lexi is living or uh, living out her mom's feelings and what she wanted from her dad at the time she wasn't getting because she was, you know, probably spoiled or, you know, backed up with um, listening to her mom complain about Chris complain about um, Nell and their relationship. Now, I don't know anything of the backstory. I would like to know more regarding Chris and his daughter, Nell and Lexi, about why their relationship is so strained. It was um, Lexi telling the truth, or um, is Lexi just um, looking at it from her mom's point of view, you left us, you wouldn't have married her and you, you know, and y'all are successful. And you know, sometimes, and I'm not saying this is the truth because I don't know, but you know, sometimes women can, you know, uh, break up with a man, they have a child and once the man leave and have a whole new family, they feel the, the woman feels slighted. Like that's supposed to be my life. That's supposed to be me. And regardless of whatever they worked out in court for, um, for as far as child support, they want more. And if they see you doing better, they want better. They feel as though that their life supposed to still be equal to, um, to the man and the, and, and their wife um, life. And they feel as though that, um, they were robbed uh, at some point because they are not, maybe they're not on that status as the Fletchers. I don't know. Maybe her mom is successful, but maybe bitter. And because Lexi has had to grow up with her mom complaining about the Fletchers for some time till, um, she probably, when she probably seen the kids, um, with BMWs and stuff like that. And she only go over every now and again. Now I'm not saying she only went over every now and again. These are her words, not mine. So if her mom, did her mom let her go on, um, family vacations because, it's more than one side to the story. Maybe she was invited and her mama was like, oh, heck no, my daughter ain't going nowhere with that woman. Or maybe because Lexi has always had an attitude problem where Nell was like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm not taking this child with me nowhere because I'll be in jail because she's not. I mean, I will forget that she's Chris's child and I'll be in jail. So I'm just curious and I hope that um, the Fletchers are able to give us some backstory on Nell and Lexi's relationship and um, and Chris's, Chris and Lexi's relationship as well as where is Lexi coming up with this stuff. But I know with um, Lexi saying that... Uh, it's like if you felt that way and you felt as though that the family just gang up on you and don't invite you to anything, why would you, and I know she had every right to be there because she is Chris's daughter, but why show up now? 
is uh, did you show up so you could have your chance to have your TV debut, have your TV moment, and try to embarrass your dad on TV? Is that what Lexi did, uh, and she did it out of spite, or is she um, just um, hurt? And I'm not going to say she's not hurting because even if Lexi is carrying around her mom's feelings uh, from what she's heard over the over the years. And what she's witnessed from her mom or, you know, from her mom telling her over the years. Because if you live with your mom, you're only going to get basically that side of it. Because your dad, when you go to visit your dad and, and his wife and their kids, you're not sitting up. They're not sitting around talking about your mom like that. They're not. Hopefully they're not sitting around talking about your mom, having conversations about, about your mom. And so they're probably, um, she's probably in her feelings because of something her mom said before she went over. And it's like, because she's in her feelings when she get over there, she is looking at them in being standoffish and she sees them as the way her mom see them as, um, you know, they're not my family and they're his family, but this is my dad. So I'm entitled. I want, you know what I want and why are you buying these kids, um, BMWs and chargers and stuff. And I'm driving what I'm driving because she never did say exactly what her dad was guilty of doing to her except for she's saying that she wasn't first she said she wasn't around then she said that her dad didn't uh didn't get in her life till she was 28 but then she says that the other kids have bmws and stuff but my thing is if he didn't get in your life till you were 28, then he don't, I mean, he really don't owe you a BMW. You're grown now. By 28, you should have been able to, you, you should have been on a path to make a way for your own self to have your own BMW. You don't just show up at age 28 and say, okay, here I am, dad. And say, here you go. Here's a BMW. So I'm, so I, I have to say, I can't rock with Lexi on that one because you can't just show up at 28 and expecting to get everything that the other kids have. And she never said that her dad denied her. Um, and he did. And Chris did admit that he did have his own issues um, a while back where he couldn't be um, where probably they did have some issues with the relationship between where it caused friction between him and Lexi's relationship. So that's why I'm curious to, um, to know the backstory, what happened? Um, what did Chris do? Was it, was it because he was, you know, in school or trying to build a career and he wasn't, um, you know, picking her up, when it was his weekend or, you know, she wasn't able to spend the holidays. What was it? What was it that Lexi was looking for that she didn't get? Um, because as easy going as Chris is, I cannot imagine her not being able to pick up the phone and say, dad, come get me. And he not coming because Chris seems like he's a real pushover when it comes to them kids. So I, like I say, I just can't imagine her calling on her dad and her dad not being there. If he's there for Nelson, I, I'm quite sure that he was there for his daughter. Probably not to the full extent because of him, you know, probably putting things to the back burner because he's trying to build a career. And that's no excuse, no excuse at all. But I'm just saying, man... Um, once they walk out of a relationship and the, and the woman is giving them all kinds of hell, I, I feel as though men will to avoid it altogether. They'll walk away from the whole thing. And sometimes the kids are an innocent casualty. And, but I, like I say, I need to know more. I want to know more. And people can say all they want that, um, 
that Chris is wrong and he's probably 100% wrong. He probably is because there's no excuse for you neglecting your child. Not at all. There's no, no excuse. But at the same time, is it as bad as Lexi making it seem? Or is Lexi just living out her mom's feelings? She didn't adapt her mom's feelings to be her feelings because she is now jealous of the other Fletcher kids. I don't know. I hope they play it out so we can get some backstory. Because, uh, but I don't care what happens. Lexi was still dead wrong for telling Nell to kiss her behind. Now that. And maybe that's one of the reasons why um, her and Chris' relationship was strained because of her mouth. Because you can't come to my house and disrespect my wife and then feel as though that you could continue to come over here and, you know, um, mistreat her. So now the next time you want to come over, you're not coming because now I I don't know. I'm not finna sit up here and... Um, tolerate your disrespect your 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 potty mouth and stuff like that so and like i said i'm interested in hearing all of it the backstories and of every last one of them and i wonder was this was lexi with her um saying that was is she trying to make an introduction or um for her mom to have a, a role on the show i don't know but it's gonna be interesting. I'm still watching the Fletchers. I still love the. I, I still love it because it's dealing with realness. This family got some real drama to air out, and I'm here for it. And that's just my opinion. I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe, comment on the video. Let me know what you think.